What's up guys, welcome back to another video on Pure Panorama. Unfortunately, this video is not gonna be me taking care of the tie rods on my 2001 24 valve Cummins right here behind me. Today kinda got away from me with the kids. I was out, the wife was out with two of the kids having lunch with a friend and at the stores. I was out with the other two kids at the stores shopping here, shopping at uh, Harbor Freight and Home Depot. And I will go over what I got, which is sitting in the truck behind me in a second. But I wanna say that tomorrow morning is actually supposed to be nicer than it is right now. So tomorrow's gonna be a little bit warmer. We are gonna get out here first thing tomorrow and see if we can't get a crack in on this truck and get those tie rods separated off the front of it and get the new stuff piece together so that hopefully we can get that taken care of and together that is of course if everything is the right parts i still have not even checked that 100 percent. so we're gonna check that make sure that everything matches up and then uh, we'll be good to go so what this video right here is about is i want to do a giveaway to you guys for the 169 subscribers that i have right now and hopefully more so what i'm thinking is you guys who are subscribed to the channel right now have been great watching the videos liking them commenting on them there's good questions being asked there's good answers from subscribers and i'm answering what i'm able to answer and i think it's great so when i first started this channel i really had no clue what i wanted to do with it and you will see that if you watch some of the first videos that i've ever posted on this channel i had no clue what i wanted to do but then i was thinking one day and i was working on the truck and i was like well dang other truck channels seem to be be going well and getting good feedback and stuff like that and people want to see stuff like that and learn about things with their trucks and and all that stuff so why don't i just film myself working on the truck and see how that goes and since i started doing that i've been seeing a little bit of growth and you know i've i've been kind of getting what I want out of the channel and that's always been to just have a good community of people being built up that can help each other and no drama no bull crap just straight up you got a question someone's gonna help you by answering it or I can help you by answering it if I had the answer but nonetheless I just want if anyone ever has questions to have somewhere to go to ask that question and know a hundred percent that someone has their back and can help them with that question and now I'm slowly starting to see See this channel turn into that and I am very very grateful for it I can't explain in words what it feels like to have these 169 first subscribers on this channel this is a channel that I really didn't think it really would go anywhere or it would just take forever and ever to kind of get noticed but daily I'm starting to see at least a few subscribers come into it and that is awesome so i do have a good feeling about the future and moving forward with this channel and hopefully you know the growth of it and i do think that we can build this channel up and make it something great what i'm going to ask of you guys is to share 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 the videos and like the crap out of them so that youtube will hopefully recommend them to other people and they can find the channel as well liking really does help with channel growth and helping to show YouTube that people enjoy what they see and then YouTube in turn will recommend the videos and the channel to other people and drive some more traffic to it and that will only in turn help all of us by hopefully getting us more subscribers on the channel and then that's more people to help answer those questions and be there for one another and give good advice and points points and tricks and tips and whatever I'm trying to say my brain is moving faster than my mouth is so if you guys can come through for me and like 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 share 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 and try to drive traffic to the channel in any way that you can then obviously I need to come through for you in more ways than just making content now I am already just ecstatic about the 169 subscribers that I do have and I can almost count on every video to have a comment from the same guys come in and I think it's great man I I think I feel like building these relationships on here and everything and just there for one another and helping each other out and that's what it's all about and for that I feel like giving back something and obviously I just put gauges into the truck as you know and one of those gauges was a fuel pressure gauge and that fuel pressure gauge did take the place of something does anybody remember what that something was that something was a BD low fuel pressure alarm kit now I know some of you are probably gonna say but dude that part is used and whatever 
but I can assure you that that part is absolutely 100% functional and healthy and does what it's supposed to do. It's never failed me, it's never gave me crap, and it is still a good product to have on your truck if you do not have gauges and you can't monitor your fuel pressure. So the BD Low Fuel Pressure Alarm Kit lets you know if your fuel pressure gets to five PSI or lower, which is very dangerous, that's very low, and you don't really wanna get below 10 PSI at wide open throttle. If you're starting to get lower than that, you wanna start to investigate and figure out why and get that PSI back up. Otherwise, you're gonna run into some problems with your BP44 and that's gonna cost you a lot of money. So back on the low fuel pressure alarm kit, I got this thing just sitting in the garage and I'm not ever gonna use it again because I have the gauges in the truck and I feel like if someone else out there can have it and use it and put it to work for what it's meant to do, then I would rather them have it. So I'm trying to get some opinions right now on whether or not you would want to see this move forward in me to go through with this. And if you do, then here's how it would work. In the beginning of this video, you saw me loading up a crap ton of bottles and cans into the bed of my 24 valve Cummins. To be exact, it was 18 total bags. I took them down the street to the redemption center and obviously I got a total number of bottles and cans that those 18 bags contained. If we go through with this giveaway thing, then I'm going to have you all guess how many bottles and cans you think the total was in those 18 bags and the person at the end of the giveaway who was closest to the total number I got at the redemption center will be the winner of the BD low fuel pressure alarm kit. Now I hope that whoever, if we go through with this, whoever wins it is able to use it and and do with it what it's meant to do and it helps them monitor the fuel pressure of their truck if they don't have gauges. If you win it and you don't need it and you do have gauges and stuff, then obviously you can do as you wish with it. You can sell it, you can just keep it for another truck, a rainy day, whatever. But either way, I would like to at least not have it just sitting here doing nothing and give it back to one of my subscribers and show you guys how serious and passionate I am about doing what I'm doing with this channel and how badly I want to continue to grow this channel and this community. So if we do this giveaway and you guys seem to respond well to this idea, then I need you guys all to share, share, share these videos, hit that like button like it's your job and try to drive as much traffic to the channel so that we can try to grow it more and then get more people in on this community of truck enthusiasts. But if we start to get this channel growing and it's, and I mean, I mean growing and it's starting to grow, 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 and I'm seeing more and more traffic coming through, then obviously we can get into doing bigger giveaways and better giveaways and things that are new, things that you guys want, things that I'll let you choose and pick out yourselves and I would be more than happy to do that and want to do that stuff but in order to do that we got to have the traffic here on the channel so if you guys think that this little BD low fuel pressure alarm giveaway is something that you would want to see done here on the channel then by all means let me know by hitting the like button telling me in the comment section down below and sharing this video with all your friends and I just want you guys all to know and remember too that I can't monetize videos at this point in the game anyway. So I'm not trying to talk you guys into driving traffic to the channel to solely benefit me. Driving traffic to the channel will benefit everybody. And that's what I want. If there is someone that's on this channel, subscribe to this channel and they have a question, I want them to know without a doubt in their mind that they can come here, ask their question and know 100% for sure that somebody will have the answer for it or that hopefully they can have a video made about whatever their question is. So that is why I want to drive more traffic to this channel. Yes, obviously the more people we get, the more we're able to do with the channel as well and the more it will help me out to be able to do stuff with the channel and for the channel. So driving more traffic to the channel benefits everybody as a whole so if we can get more traffic coming through the channel and gain more subscribers here on pure panorama then everybody is going to walk away with something and it's going to benefit us all so that's enough on the old giveaway topic let me know like i said in the comment section if you want to go forward with this and do it and right now let me show you what i bought from home depot brushless rigid half inch impact with three speed settings plus an auto mode now this is one of the main features that really sold me for this impact right here this auto mode is basically like using this tool to tighten down nuts bolts whatever to a finger tight 
setting I guess you would say so as soon as the impact wrench starts to impact it shuts off and it stops tightening so that it doesn't over torque or over tighten now I think that that is that's freaking awesome putting on lug nuts or anything like that you go ahead put it in auto mode zip them on just to get them down and then you can bust out the torque wrench and make sure that they're torqued properly so that is a great great feature now this one doesn't have as high of torque as the cobalt one or the milwaukee one so that is kind of like a downer but everything that i've read and seen on this it's going to have plenty of power for what i'm going to be using it for with the truck for all the basic stuff and busting the basic things loose and tightening up stuff like that with the truck uh, i almost swore but i caught myself that's how you know you're a dad but for doing basic things like that this thing is going to probably be plenty I do plan to go and actually get a high torque one. So this is a mid torque range and I do plan to get a high torque one as well, which will have double the power of this just for some bigger application stuff in case we ever come across things like that, that we need to do with the truck. And also they have three eighths drive ones and we got to get a couple of the little battery operated cordless ratchets, um, quarter inch and three eighths for helping us just zip little bolts and things like that out of the truck. But that was our purchase for today. So let's open it for the first time right now together on camera. Here we go. So this did come with just the tool, no battery, no charger, none of that. And I gotta say, it does have like, it's not super big. So I bet you this will be nice for fitting into some tighter spaces and everything. And I like the way that these rigids feel with the way that they have the grip on them and stuff. We're going to do a good a good review on this sucker after we use it for a few and see what it can do and what it's capable of. But I'll just tell you that I do have rigid tools that I use for work, which is another main reason that I decided to go for this because I already have some batteries that will work with it, obviously. And I have their Gen 5X line with circular saw and drill and impact, plus their little 12 volt series and stuff that I use for hanging cabinets. So I already, I've been a fan of Rigid and I think that they make a good quality item and they're only getting better and starting to compete more with the bigger names like Makita and Milwaukee. Um, but that is why I decided to go with this Rigid and I'm super stoked. So we can have this in the truck just in case we ever had to change something on the fly while we're out on the road. Uh, this is gonna be something good to have and carry around. And then when we get the higher impact one, uh, the higher torque rated one, we can just keep that in the box here at the house. But that was our purchase for today. And I gotta say, it, it really, it wasn't bad. 150 bucks, you can't really beat it. You can't beat it. You're not getting the other ones, the other makes for a price like that. So breaking nuts loose, this one is rated for, I think 450 foot pounds of torque. And I think the max that will do tightening things up is 300 foot pounds. So that's pretty decent and should suit us well. So that right there is gonna do it for this video number one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys are on board and looking forward to things to come with this channel and wanting to help it grow and go further and get bigger and better and stronger because I know I would very much appreciate that to see everybody benefiting from something or other on this channel and me being able to give back bigger and better things to all of you. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you're new because there's plenty to come and you're not gonna wanna miss it. I can promise you that. And I will see you guys in a little bit with an update on that HX35. Peace. And I gotta say that this impact really isn't that much bigger than my drill. It's a little bit fatter and wider, but it's really not any longer than the thing. It's a pretty good compact size. It packs a good little punch, should anyways. So I think this thing's gonna work out just fine for what we need it for.